Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Hall of Fame College Football. We're going to do a live call-in show tonight. Welcome to the show. Uh, this is all for you guys. I know, uh, and I only got five of you in here right now, really? Okay, okay, okay. So uh, somebody jump in on that StreamYard link. Jump in there. Uh, talk to me about what y'all want to talk about. Wipe your feet. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I think I think we had five likes already. So we got to make sure we have, because we got about five people. We got 10 likes, and we got seven people. That's not bad. If we keep that going, that's good. Uh, listen, let's talk about it. 28-11. I know a lot of people were upset about the play calling. A lot of people are... You know, we're not getting uh, – Lori, what were you saying, Lori? Where's Lori at? Talking about not getting sacks and stuff like that, not getting pressure. They were pressuring. Um, for as good as that quarterback supposedly was, he had 11 points. So, um, let's go. Talk. Yeah, I mean, jump in here. Somebody get in here. Brian, jump in. Steve, one of you guys. One of the Steves. Steven, hit the link. Hit the link and come on in. You don't have to show your face. In fact, I won't put your face on. Uh, we're just going to do voice only. So you can just talk and, and ask questions, ask whatever you want. We'll talk about it, okay? Hank, come on. Mars Jams, somebody. Sooner D. Welcome, everybody, to the show, man. I appreciate you all coming in to check it out. Who wants in? Let's go. The offense just looked boring. Okay? Okay. Do you care to elaborate? Hit that uh hit that hit that link button. You don't have to put your face on. I'll just pull you in on just your voice only, right? Okay. No, that's okay. Whatever you guys want to do. And look, I don't generally the background noise isn't bad on here. So it, unless they're, you know, like right next to you, probably not gonna hear much of it. Um I'm in here cooking in this freaking studio because they got the damn AC turned way the hell up. Okay. All right, yep. Let's see, uh, Stevie, you have to at least allow your audio, though. It's not showing that it's ready, so you have to allow the audio on your phone or whatever. Anybody else? There you are. Okay. All right, Stevie, what you got? Welcome to the show, my friend. Thanks, brother. What's up, man? What did you, what'd you think tonight? What do you think about the game? What uh, do you have problems with it? You happy with it? What's where you at on? I uh, was happy with the defense. Um, offense. Uh, I don't know if it was vanilla play calling or just sometimes they just didn't execute offensive line stuff like that. I was wondering like where Jaden Gibson was, where Pedway was, where Anderson was. Otherwise, I thought it was a pretty good game. Yeah, so uh, I agree with you, and and you know here here's where I, I, I it's kind of what I was saying in Coach I's uh, show a few minutes ago. If you think about it, what's up, Kim? If you think about it a little bit, we're so used to seeing these PlayStation numbers, and it's kind of like what the uh, I I heard a guy the other day talking about tech, and he's been covering tech for a while, and how. The defense can be non-existent and nobody says anything about it because they're just used to it being the way that it is. So, right. you, know, you know, nobody's going to really be upset about it. It's just like last year, you had a top 15 offense in the country and, and Dylan and, and Levy caught strays all year, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, was it vanilla? Probably. You know, I mean, I think that I think that SMU was better than most people probably thought they were. Uh, they do have a pretty good quarterback. Are they super deep? No. And I think that they weren't able to put up – I mean, it's pretty clear that the defense did lock them up pretty good. And this is a great thing, by the way. If you can go and win where you put up 28 points, I mean, hey, think about the last – think about the last 10 years or whatever. Would you – how many games would they win scoring 28 points? None. Probably none. I mean, you won, right? You know, you got to – you're a lot of – a lot of, you know, 42, 38 games and, you know, Kyler Murray's year, I mean, how many times do they have to score 50 and they barely won the shit? You know, I mean, it's just kind of what it is, right? Right, right, you like it. Yeah. So, uh, again, man, and, and, but I agree with you and to some extent, and I and I do wonder, the question that I uh, that I posted in there on, on Coach Eisen, I think it's our 
our headline here, and here it is, yeah. It, you know, are Levy and BV at odds over the play calling? Because it sounded like it to me. It sounded like it to me at halftime, really. She was, I mean, that poor little girl, she wasn't She wasn't trying to start no shit. And he, got, he kind of barked at her, right? Yeah. <laughs> he kind of barked at her, so it kind of is what it is, you know? They do need to clean up the penalties. Hey, Lucas James, I'm with you on that. That stuff, I'm more concerned about those things because how many of those drives, in fact, the drive that they scored the touchdown on, they were going to get them off the field twice and they had interference calls. Turns into a touchdown. And and look, I love Kanak. I think he's a freaking stud athlete, but the guy is all over the place and lost. He doesn't know what he's doing. And to be the middle linebacker, that's scary to me. I'd rather see Kobe McKenzie in there, man. I really would. Yeah, I agree. But anyway, yeah. Anything? What else you got? What else? Anything else that you saw that you know just kind of stuck out to you? Um, love the defense. Peyton Bowen looked really good, and I thought they tackled a lot better this year. So I'm I'm happy with that. Yeah, they're popping right. They're popping pads. <laughs> yep. Kidding? yep. Hey, hey, I saw we had a seatbelt sighting today. He he knocked the ball out too. Yep. I was happy about that. Man, I appreciate you coming in, Steve. I really do. Thanks, buddy. Any, any, yeah, anytime, come pop in here and uh, and ask questions. Who's the, who's up next? Thanks a lot, man. Thanks, bud. Yep. Okay. Next up. So, yeah, look, I think that uh, – yeah, Mike, I'm kind of with you on that. Our team is young, if you think about it, and they will get better from game to game. Hey, this is This is an underrated statement right here. I'll, I'll tell you that much, right? Because when you start thinking about when you start thinking about what it is, is if you're a coach, you know, and I can remember back in high school. I mean, we were state championship team uh, in in here in New Mexico, and our coach was like, "Okay, we're we're getting better, we're getting better." And you're you had little goals from week to week, right? You don't want to peak in week two for sure because it can only go down from there, right? Uh, yeah, that Peyton. Uh, yeah, man. Look, there's a lot of stuff. Tawi, uh, Tawi Walker, I like him too. Look, <clears throat> you don't want to have him peaking, but and the other part is, is like you know, it's like I said earlier. I, I'm not too worried about when you're in max protection and you're throwing within a couple of seconds. That means you're getting pressure. You may not be getting a ton of sacks, but like Ethan, you know, Ethan goes and he gets that, he pulls that face mask there towards the end of the game too. I mean, these are, these are things that are happening that if I'm BV, I'm more worried about that than what plays are getting called. And because to me, uh, it worries me that Jaron Kanak is going to against Texas. What if it's a big time of the game and you're about to make a stop and you just give them, you know, a 15 yard penalty or, or interference penalty that, that moves them. They got an automatic first. Right. And I like Jaron Kanak. I think he, I think he is that. I said it on on a K Christian show earlier. He's kind of like that dude that is really good out on the playground when you're playing basketball, and then whenever you get in a real game, they they just don't know what to do. They just, they're just you know they they don't know what to do, and they're running around like a chicken with their head cut off, and it's it, it worries me. I would rather that BV does, and he's a linebacker, which is who BV coaches. Something's got to happen there, right? Something's got to happen there. Who's next? Who's who's popping in here, guys? You don't have to put your face on. Nobody's going to put their face on, as a matter of fact. It'll just be me. Um, so it'll just be your voice, just like the last one was. Um, let me. I'll put that invite in there one more time. Yeah, Ethan could have a clean sack. Uh, I mean, and it's rare that he gets there, you know? <laughs> it's It's rare that he gets there. So I, I like to see – and, look, I, I still feel like uh, – Ethan, you can stack some more weight on that kid and he gets stronger. I don't know why he, they're not trying to he, – why he doesn't want to move into the middle. So, yeah, it – yeah, it's, it's a good question, Green. Good question. It was a clean sack. It was just kind of silly, right? All right. Uh, so let's do –
I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Kim in here real quick. Kim in here real quick. Whoop. There you are, Kim. What's up, man? Welcome to the show. Oh no, 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 no video. You're off the video. Hey, right? how we doing? Good, good. Uh, turn off your uh, oh, no, turn off no, your regular no, stream. No real quick. video. Turn off your regular stream real quick. The like the one that you're watching because now that you're in the call, uh, it'll echo like that. So just uh, you can go back to it once you're done. Turn off your regular stream real quick. The like. Let me know when you got that part off. Just uh, you can go back to. It. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was glad they didn't either. All right, you you good? Say something. Kim, you hear me? Hello. Is that better? Yep, yep, I got you. What you got? What you got for me, man? Kim, what do you got? What, what, what you got a question? You have something you want to say? Uh, I'm not hearing anything from you. Okay, that's uh, you want to be hearing it from your phone or whatever you're you're using, or using the computer, or whatever. You have to turn turn off the uh, you got to turn off the stream from YouTube. You just got to be on the streamyard part. Here, I'm gonna um try to come back in, but you got to just be on the streamyard part. So get out of the tab that has YouTube up. And just be on the stream. Just uh, go back to. All right, we'll try that again. Next, who's up next? Let's try. Uh, somebody else pop in real quick. Hey, here's the easy way to do it, guys. Uh, all you have to do is just okay your microphone. But what, like right now, you guys are watching it on YouTube, right? When you enter the studio thing, when it goes into the, that, they're bringing you into the studio. Don't worry, I'm not going to show your face. All you have to do is, because I'm just on the single one, so all you have to do is just um, turn off the YouTube part, though, and be just in the StreamYard studio, okay? Uh, yeah. No, I would agree with that part. Look, they did finish strong, too, and that's the other thing I want people to remember, too, is that, guys, it's not going to be perfect every week. It's not. And this is a young... Ed, I don't know who, who was it that said this earlier. This is a young team. Mike I mean, these guys are all young, and they're but they're flying around the ball. And even when it comes to Canik, it's just it seems like he's just he doesn't really have a clue where the hell he's at. And I think if you stick him at outside linebacker, he can run crazy, right? You don't have as many crazy assignments, and at least it's not so much that's over overpowering him, right? Okay, let's try this again. We can't. All right, can you hear what? Let's try. Uh, still getting that. Uh, somebody else popping up. Kim, so I'm getting a uh, a lot of echo. You got to get out of the YouTube uh, tab. Whatever your YouTube tab is, click out of it. Then that linebacker, hi, Lori. If you would like to jump in, I'm going to post that again right now. Whoever wants to. In. All right, Kim. Did is, you, it, is, uh, that, is that better for you? That is much better. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. I'm in. All right. What you got for us? I think the take on BV, um, when Levy did the bunch left right before the half, they scored. And I think that's what he was referring to is going to the run because that defense was gassed. So he, he I, I'm, I'm not so sure that they're arguing so much. I, I'm, I'm still of the mindset that BV is going to let Levy do his thing. Well, I would hope so. I would hope so. I, I think that that's what needs to happen. And what worries me is that I know that there were times last year that that was an issue where that they were kind of butting heads. And Levy never came out and said it. And really, to be to be fair, neither did BV, but I know that this was something that was being said behind the scenes, you know, and that there was some – and Levy, I thought, was a real good soldier about it because he didn't – he would take the arrows, 
you know, and and Lebby, and not only Lebby, DG took a lot of those arrows too, right? Um, it's just kind of how it was. So, um, you know, uh, you could be right on that, but and I get what you're saying, but it just seems like he was definitely, um, he was definitely a little snappy with that gal, though, right? And she was, I mean, you know, that poor girl wasn't trying to get in the middle of that. Well, I, I, I think I think part of that stress too was the crowd was booing Lebby like crazy right before the half because they weren't moving the ball at all until they went to bunch left and then then they went ninety three yards. Sure. So, sure, sure. Um, How much of that do you think might might have been vanilla play call and like what he was talking about? Well, it, it's it's all right vanilla. Right it, yeah. it, they're not wanting to show anything, but at the same time. It was it was putting a lot of pressure on the defense to hold up on eleven points, and at the time it was only fourteen to eleven. No, so. no. Well, but but that lasted for how long? One one drive. It, right, right. And but that what, what what I'm getting at is there wasn't a big enough uh, a gap in 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 uh, score for them to be comfortable. I'm with you there. I'm with you there, but and and there's some look. I'm not saying that 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 Levy was perfect in any of that either, and I will I will give you that. Um, I just I know that I, I can remember whenever we were all worried that uh, Levy was about to go to either Bama or Georgia, right? Right. And we were concerned. I, I know you were. I know I was. I was like, shit, you know. And right now you're in a position where. Look, this defense, if it's as good as it is right now, and it let, I mean, look, they're going to they're have better competition before this is all over with. They're also going to have better players. But if this defense how, – how, when's the last time it was this good? Right. It's been a long time. But that, that's what I'm getting at. That this team is not Tebow's team. We can win – with 28 points. We don't have to score 53 and hope we win. Pray. Yeah, you're it, praying. I, I remember the West right. Virginia game that year with Kyler, how freaking close that got Will Greer and those guys, they they went toe-to-toe the whole way. Right. They didn't have a de- Thankfully, they didn't have a defense either. Right. I, I, I truly believe if, if people will watch SMU, they're going to win their their conference. They're, they're a lot better team than what people's giving them. Credit for I mean, who's left in that in the AAC, you know. What I mean, I think they're definitely the uh, it's going to be them. What Memphis is the other good team that's left, right? Um, yeah, uh, I wouldn't surprise me. I think that they have one of the best coaches, too. This guy's been an up and coming coach, and that's the other part that to me was a little it's it's encouraging is that this is a guru guy, this is like that Sean Lewis type of dude. I mean, you know, look. Gus hasn't been as good with since he hadn't had him around. Right. right. I think Wilson is a good team too. That does Coach I saying right there too. Yeah. Right. Blake Smith at tight end. Yeah. 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 What's up with the why are you what do you think about this game? Why what's up with Stoggs? Why is he not really doing a whole lot? Starks amazed me actually tonight beating Bama. Um, I, that's, that's the best Stog. play call. Stogner. Stogner. Oh, Stogner. Yeah. Uh, I think that's more of that vanilla. I think they're holding on to all that. Well, it, it's like Farouk. Farouk got one at the end, right? When they, yeah. when they needed that touchdown to go ahead again. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and and he had to he had to pull an amazing play to, to make that happen, but that's the only time they targeted him the whole game. Yeah, they should win the AAC or be have a two lane to be the only one. Yeah, I think so. And and again, look, but Farouk wasn't getting looks last week either. Everybody's a little concerned about it, right? Stark has right. a name. Okay, yeah, he's a little hurt. Okay, I can see that. But I mean, look, the good news is, is everybody thought that there was zero. Uh, Depth in that tight end room, it looks like we we found different, right? Um, Adam says, reading the forums, Sooner fans irritate me. It appears, uh, I'm not gonna say that word, but that they're trying to f- trying things out and working things out. OU is clearly improved. And yeah, I, I, I think they're a little, they're they're trying to gather uh, film on these guys. Um, 
more than they're actually trying to blow somebody out. It's last week they just couldn't help it. The, everybody was better than Arkansas. So, man, yeah, and old poor old Butch Jones, man, he had his, his players over there consoling him and shit on the sideline. <laughs> yeah. it was wild, man. Yeah. I, saw that, I was like, golly, because Jay made one of them shorts about it, and they, he was literally crying, right? Yeah. Um, Lori says if uh, if Stoops would have given the job to BV and Tebow kept doing offense, we'd be doing great. Mm. I don't know. BV, BV needed that time at, at Clemson to be as good as he is right now. He needed that time. That is. Man, I need that ding, ding, ding button or something like that off for that one. I think that's perfect. I think that's exactly right. Like he's the struggle to me. BV seems like he likes the struggle. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Here's the. That's actually a decent. That's a decent thing to say. Because think about this for a second. Venables always says that he wants players that want it hard. They want it to be hard. It is a struggle. Everything in life is a struggle. By the way, if it if it's worth having, it's hard. Hard to get right. Do we see Stog more in the bigger games? I haven't seen him hardly at all. Yeah, that's what we were just saying, Mike. Uh, I was going to bring you in, too, here in just a second, so you can jump back in any time. Um, Gerald Talley, hook them, baby. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, big win for you guys tonight. Big win for you guys tonight. i got to have to give you a little bit of props. But I will say, uh, win more than eight games. Win more than nine games. I, I I truly believe if if uh, Saban loses a couple more games, Bama's going to be all over him. The the fans won't put up with it. You don't think he's built up any credit there, you know? I I, I, I I think I think Bama fans are fanatical. I mean, they're almost they are, are they're, yeah. they're LSU fans. You think? <laughs> yeah, they're 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 they're, cr they're crazy fanatical. Um, hey, if they if they if they're not winning, the same old sandwich. I mean that that sandwich has been there for a minute. Yeah, it, but, but I I don't know from from some of the other podcasts that I've watched mm -hmm. that there are there's already rumblings. Um, that they're they're worried about where the program's headed. <clears throat> yeah, well, I mean. I still think it's overblown about last year. I mean, you know, and Coach, I, he gonna, he's going to completely disagree with me about this. But, I mean, they had two losses, four points. They won a couple games by a couple points, too. I get it. But in the end, I mean, are they that bad? They lost tonight, but they lost to a freaking fire. And, hey, the concern that I would have is that it appears that Sark made an adjustment today. I think you would have had to, right? Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. This is the best game I've ever seen Starks coach. That that's you're trying to go to timeout, coach. Is that what you're trying to do? He's throwing the horns up in here. That no shit don't go here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, don't get it. Yeah, don't get it twisted. We still don't like them. It's just <laughs> yeah. play surprise. This <laughs> I'm gonna give them love. I'm gonna give them props for what they did. And I and listen. Uh, with the way things have been going the last few weeks, it wouldn't bother me to if if they play twice this year because they play in that conference championship. And that's the only time that I would condone that whole SEC chant thing would be in Arlington, right? What, 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 huh? If only somebody would have told y'all, hey, you know, uh, didn't I send, I sent you guys the link. Y'all, y'all welcome to come on in. Uh, if you want to talk this ish, you know. Uh, but, yeah, look, hey, man, the sun shines on the dog's ass at least twice a day. <laughs> yeah, look, hey, yeah, and, uh, okay, so they win, and beat, they win and beat Alabama. What happens if they go and lose to uh, Tech again or they lose to, I mean, they still got to play. Uh, Houston, did Houston end up losing to Rice? Did anybody look at that? Would it really surprise you if they lost to, to like Houston? Because Houston hates them. I mean, that's a that's a real hate thing. 
all, all, all the other Texas teams hate them. Yeah, that's that's a, that's a fair point. Hey, look at them A and M. They got they got didn't just lose. They got beat up. Forty eight to thirty three. Miami put it on them. And Carolina held off App State. I'll be damned. Huh. I wanted I wanted to t- tell the fan base also. I love the show. I love what you're doing. Appreciate you for everything you're doing. But I, I just wanted to get on there and kind of straighten that up because I didn't want everybody thinking I was just arguing with them. Um, okay. but, no, I, maybe I, you're right. You could be right about that. It, just, it I I may have just taken it different because it seemed like he was cranky. And maybe it was because he felt like Levy was getting beat up. If that's the case, that's good news. I don't right. know. That I, I don't know though. I just there's a, there seems to have been some kind of issue between them last year for sure. And 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 I know that it was brought up in the whole. You know, I think Levy wanted to stay. I think he used it as leverage. You know, but when you got somebody like Saban and and Kirby that could have easily hired him. I mean, they're they're contenders. You know, right. Dan would be. Better. I mean, he would be better than I don't know about Bobo, but I mean, Bo, I think he's better than Bobo. But I know he's better than Tommy Reese. Well, uh, I'm I'm sure BV said something when there was you know two second three and out. You know what I'm saying? T- trying to get him to uh, he's, he's got a short fuse, man, for sure. So I'm I'm sure there was some conflict going on, but I don't think it's as big bad, a deal as bad. Bad. Okay. Yeah. I can see that. That's all cool. That's all good. All right. Appreciate man, you. Thank you a lot for coming in, and thank you for your for your kind words about the show, man. We love having you, uh, folks. If you haven't hit that like button, please make sure you do. Kim, we'll talk to you here coming up anytime. Spangler. Right. Yep. Yeah, what's up, guys? Boom. So, Bama is a three loss team this year. I'm too shy to call in. Why you're your face isn't going to be on there, Lori. Pop in, pop in, pop in. That can very well happen. Okay. Oh, your wife is screwing up. You're out the country. Where you at? Yeah, that's cool. So I thought that that was, that's actually a, you know, he was saying he thought that he was more kind of got cranky because of all the booing maybe. Stoops or BV? Huh, that's a good question. <laughs> Which Stoops? Because Mike's, man, he used to do some real free. And as much as you see BV screaming on the sideline, they all loved him, but I'm not positive that they all loved Mike all the time, right? Coach's, uh, Coach has been, he's sick today, not feeling very good. So he's just chilling. He uh, he didn't even make it practice with his, uh, with his other team. But he's happy about his Notre Dame Irish. What do you guys think about them? They they look good to me. They look real to me. They're you want to talk about physical, and they got a quarterback that can get it done too. And they got really good running backs. I, there's the, that's a problem. I think that's a problem. You think Bob? Yeah, hey, Bob. Hey, he's got a he's got a temper too. Um, I would say. I think it's pretty similar. You know, they work together at, at K State. You know, that's, they kind of use it. They're kind of used to it. Notre Dame top four. I think they're pretty damn close if they're not. Yeah, I think they're right in there. And it, what we're seeing, I, I we saw out of Clemson today. I don't know. I don't think they'll be there. Okay, man. Hey, man, thanks for coming in, Coach. I appreciate you, man. Appreciate you having me on. Um, yeah, I'm only going to do this for a little bit anyways because I got to get – but because um, I got to work tonight too. But, yeah, thanks a lot for coming on. I appreciate you. Shaw, are you coming in? Uh, BV got a penalty for being on the field. Yeah, these, that's why he's got to get back, guys. They need to do their damn job, right? <laughs> yeah, he has. He sure has. Sure has. Uh. This is more OU show tonight because I just say this is for the audience and stuff, but I'm going to tell you, and we're, we'll talk plenty of Texas and stuff. But I'm going to tell you, but I don't know how often, I don't know how much more you, you need to see out of this guy. What, what the one thing that I saw that Nebraska had there, there was that hit you in the mouth defense and the Matt rule does that. 
Um, and they get some guys like that. They had, hey, they were they were rattling Shador early on, but then look what he did. He still came back in there and killed it. Hey, what's up, Brian? Um, hey, you know, I, I, I'm telling you, <laughs> these guys would. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a real thing. They, and he can recruit. He's a, you know he's recruiting already. You know, and he, there's one of those top one or two quarterback in the country guys. I don't know if they've already done it. Luther, Oklahoma, south of Guthrie. Okay, okay. Oh, you're out in the country. I thought you said you're out of the country. Stuff adjusted the half. It wasn't Nebraska. No, I'd agree with that. Yes, yep. I was damn sure that <laughs> that, that was what was going to happen in Alabama, too. I thought for sure, man, they're in the lead and in the locker room. Texas is screwed. Nebraska has the scheme. It, it, well, yeah, the, I, I still think, yeah. Well, it took, it's taken Matt a year or more everywhere he's been, and it's going to. Hey, Nebraska's been in bad shape for a while, but what they brought was toughness. The guys that he brought in, and you can make them better faster now because of the portal, but, you know. I think he does have a – does he not have a, a get-back guy? I know he's always got somebody tagging along right there with him. Right? So, I don't know. Yeah, he had a get-back guy there for sure. <laughs> they would hold his shirt in his pants even. Like, they had something attached to his ass so they could keep his ass on the sideline. Does he lose his shit? <laughs> he does that. And, look, I don't mind him doing it. I don't. <clears throat> the thing is, is I, I can tell you this. He doesn't, as great as he is at calling defense, he can't call offense. This is where I feel on this. If that is where it is and there's an issue between them, I'm I'm with Levy on. I want you to let him do his job. We need him. You want him or who's going to come in instead of him? They're going to go over there and get Chad? Who else? Uh, I think that that chances are already there anyway. I've been a lot of people. Did he did he announce or something? Did I just miss that? They need to rebrand a bit. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Gerald. Thanks for coming in, my man. Appreciate it. Come on in anytime. Good win tonight for you guys. Um. Yeah, they lost. Uh, I didn't see like I hadn't I wasn't watching it at the end. But I mean tech was winning the whole game and gagged, right? It's so let's look at this. Look at the play by play here. Interception for a touchdown. Oh no. Bruh. Back to back interceptions. Tyler Shuck ought to be gone. And you gagged against your old team, huh? Yikes. That's tough, man. That's tough. That's tough. A pick six followed by another pick. When they were driving to go tie it. Wow, that's tough, man. Hey, you know what my thoughts are on this. He's my favorite player in the whole damn country. Love it. And the way he committed was cool, man. He didn't do the hat thing. I mean, and not that I care about how they do it. They can do it whatever they want. I thought that was badass. I thought that was badass, that video that he made. Very cool. Very cool. Texas Tech fought hard. Yeah. Is that enough in, is that enough in Norman there, chicken? <laughs> is that enough in Norman? Someone said Latrell would be offense if Levy left. Talking about, oh, man, maybe. You lose Jack. If he leaves this year, guess who's going with him? Jackson Arnold, everybody's favorite. He gone. Better be ready for Hawkins, and that probably sets you back another year. Sperry will be there the year after that. Is he going to be ready as a freshman? It was cool, right? I thought it was badass. I thought it was badass. 
how long till Texas loses to Kansas? Hey, it could be uh let me see. Let's let's look. Since they since they beat Alabama, you gotta expect it, right? Sean. Welcome back to the show, Sean. Been a while. Schedule. <laughs> Tejas. So, oh, that's coming up. Three weeks. They're home to Kansas, and they did beat up on Kansas last year. And here, the other thing is, is that that the K State thoughts of of them losing to K State, they've beaten them six times in a row. Being crappy, they've beaten them six times in a row. What are they going to do when they're good? Uh, how do you know this? Arizona State is beating Oki Light. I was just about to bring that up. Yes, yes, yes. It's a damn shame, isn't it? <laughs> so, yeah, three weeks until you see. Uh, three weeks until Kansas, though. Yeah. Uh, Hank, was it you that was saying that Stanford made SC look real, or SUC look real good? I mean, they suck. They're the worst. They might be the worst team in Power Five. Soon to be, well, they'll still be a Power Four, I guess. 63 7 4. Oh, we got who we got? They're shouting. What's up, my dude? What's going man. on, boss? Yo, man. What you doing? What do you think, oh. man? What do you think? What do you think? Hold on one second. All right. Oklahoma, I wasn't overly impressed with Texas tonight. Kansas can beat them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. You weren't impressed with them? I, you were dropped some dimes, man. You were just dropping dimes. He threw, he had some throws that. Oklahoma State should stick with uh, Division One coaches too. Um, they should fire one. Just, just my thought. That would be my thought. But uh, yeah, SMU quarterback. Well, he was running for his life. But that was the whole thing. Is like you know they were saying we're not getting a ton of. I know a lot of people think we weren't. We're not getting enough sacks or whatever. Again. The, the defense is just as vanilla as the offense is, too. They're not going to show nothing that you're going to be able to to know what's up. Yeah. Sometimes it's just about getting the quarterback off his spot. Hmm. What? Uh, I can't hear you, bro. You're not muted. You got a, you got a cord problem or something, man? Just joined. What are, are your thoughts on the offense? Seemed like DG turned right after Levy gave him the green light. Yeah. Uh, I, I would agree with that. Look, as soon as it went to 14 um, 11, right? As soon as it went to 14 11, they scored. I mean, it was 10 plays, but they moved fast. I, I think that the thing you got to do is, and I know that there's a lot of. There's a lot of these mixed feelings about it, and I get it. But you, if you're in high octane, go fast team, you got to go fast, man. You try to slow down, you're, that's not your rhythm. So you're not going to be as good. And I, I was agree, I agree with what you guys are talking about, that bunch. that I, I like the bunch, too, and you got a lot of speed, and you can do some stuff out of that, right? And look, hey, Major looked good tonight. Tawi is a stud, bro, a little bowling ball, bro. Um, You back? Can you hear You good? Charlie, I can't hear you. I'll take you out for a second. Tawi was really good, man. I hope they kept the offense vanilla intentionally until conference play. Look, and that could be it. Here's the thing. Is my worries about a lot of this stuff is that I feel like we, we overreact. Test. Yeah, I got you now. I heard you. I heard you. You can hear me? Yep. I got you. You're a little echoey. Is that better? That's better. Much better. 
Oh. Yep. Uh, yeah, I hope they keep it vanilla too. Looking forward to seeing Colorado give it to USC. Me too. Me too. Yeah. Hey, look. Yeah, we're gonna. Have to, uh, the, the, I don't know that Colorado's defense is gonna stop them any more than they're gonna stop Colorado. So they may not win, but it, it could be a fun. It should be a damn fun watch because you know SC ain't stopping nobody. What did you think? Did you see any of that Oklahoma game tonight? Yeah. What did you think? Uh, I think um, SMU was actually a little bit better than probably most people thought. Uh, and again, you know, I don't think that nobody right now, especially, is opening up the entire playbook. It's a process. You kind of mm-hmm. want to ramp things up. You want to be peaking at the right time. And right now, it's not a know the time to be showing everything so most teams are just trying to win stay healthy you know what i'm saying win convincingly obviously which you cover the spread so that's a convincing win and um you know move on to next week and, and ramp up the process now what i will say the quarterback you don't like him i don't say i don't like ou quarterback but he which definitely one you, dylan uh dylan yeah yeah it's number eight. Is that Dylan? Yep. Yeah, he got to learn how to throw throw through windows a little better. Because I can see a lot of balls getting it's knocked small. down if you don't it's if small. you don't learn yeah, how to throw through. Yeah, get outside of the pocket, or he has to definitely get a window. Yeah, you're right about that. That's what I'm getting a at. Lot of times last year when he had trouble with it, it was after he got hurt, and Levy was not trying to put him in harm's way anymore because we saw what happened when he wasn't in. They didn't have anybody else. So, got to work on some touch too. Because a lot of balls he throw can be a, a lot more catchable if you just take a little zing off of it sometimes. Like, everything is a fastball. But that's just me being overcritical and very analytical. Yeah, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Um, I do think, yes, Notre Dame does play SC every year, and I think Notre Dame will beat the brakes off them because they do play defense, and they're physical. They're Physi- physical, yeah. Very physical, right? They're going to limit USC's. Uh, opportunities to score points with the way they play offense. Yeah. Steven G, I think you're right here. But as far as like who, who they're going to play, they, they may even be a little better than that. Because I, I think case, yeah, they're probably our fourth. I think it's K-State, probably Kansas, Texas, SMU. Yeah, I can see that. BYU, I, they could get better because I like their coach, right? Uh, he's he's at the house with my mom there. Rhino, welcome to the show, my man. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Uh, I, I have to send you something here later on. I'll, I'll, I'll send you something about him. He's a crazy-ass dog, I'll tell you that. All right, Suck is playing for the Heisman. Well, of course. He's already – that's that's what they do. SUC, baby. SUC. Hey, folks, if you haven't hit that like button, we got 38, 40 people in here right now. Let me get in here and see how many likes we got. Um, ten short of that. Make sure you hit that like button. If you're in the if you're in the chat, sometimes you will have to uh, make sure that you click out of the chat for a second. Hit that like button. You get right back in it. Okay, off your phone, it's kind of hard to see it. If you would like to become, hey, thanks, man. I appreciate that. <clears throat> if you'd like to become a member of the Hall of Fame Mafia, that is our channel membership. Just go to the web address right above shawty on the right hand side of your screen join the hall of fame office this is as little as 2.99 a month which is about half of one of your <clears throat> one of your starbucks coffees we do have our official suc merchandise in fact i got something coming in pretty soon that i'm going to be wearing some of that we've got the horns down gear our hof logo attire and uh actually there's one uh i mean i may have to put that back in there so Go in there and check it out. That that web address is right there as well. HOFmedia.us slash pod dash merch. If you are a grill master, you like smoking meats, all that kind of stuff, get a hundred bucks off of these Louisiana grills. You a grill man? Oh, yeah. These are pellet smokers. Uh, they've got regular grills, but anything in the black label, if you use our if you use our uh our link, you get a hundred bucks off of it right away. And that's, that's one of their, I think that's like their, you've got a like super high one. And then you got the black labels, the next one down. And I think there's like four or five different ones, but that's, that's like 
It's solid stuff. Great, unbelievable stuff, right? And then, of course, I spoke of cheating. You get is it? Yeah, because you could just like set it on your phone and chill. Right. <laughs> Go back to bed. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, man, it, you know what, though? The older we get, shawty, the more you need to sleep sometimes, man. I like I those it. overnight smoking deals, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because oh, yeah. you're smoking, too. Just chilling. <clears throat> right? That's what I like about it, too. Let, let me ask you this, Jason. Do you see um, BV's uh, imprint on the defense? Or, are y'all better defensively this year? Or you can't tell yet? Do I think OU's better on defense? Yeah, I do. I think that they're fast. Uh, somebody was saying that a second ago. Fast. Uh, they're getting to the ball. I, I think that there's uh, – yeah, Rhino, I think, uh, man, they really need to – they're, they're going to have to kind of pull themselves together a little bit, I think. I think they, they've got a good team. I can understand losing tonight to Oregon. Last week, you don't really have an excuse for. You know, last week, you don't have an excuse for. You and are with your river, say you are. Throwing a pick six and, uh, and then another pick to end the game, that's not great either, right? I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I know that. Uh, they say you are what your record say you are. You are. You are, man. And if you get, look, if you can't go, and I know that, hey, Wyoming's not the easiest place in the world to play. It could be hot. It could be freezing balls. Who knows? You know what I mean? Um, and I don't know what it was like up there. But, but yeah, they, they got to be better, man. And, and I think they're going to be better. I still think. But you know what? There's, there's always, you got that one team that they, they're ready to kind of make that jump, right? And it may take just that one more year than you want it to. I think they got to give Joey time. I think that he's definitely the best coach they've had in a long time. He recruits on a different level. They love him in Texas. He was the uh, Texas High School Coaches Association president. That's a, that's like that's like being the head coach at Texas, man. That that's how much clout yeah, yeah. that is. It really you, is. You can go into so, the post living room and, and get a kid. That's right. Because in order for you to, hey, there's a coach. In order for you to even be able to uh to be that guy, I mean the, coach, tell me how big is that, right? How big is the coaches association, right? Yeah, tell <laughs> thank you. Horns down, as always. Uh yeah, coach I was throwing horns up at me earlier, coach. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe leave your show, man. I was pissed. Yeah, they got more to work at. Hey, yeah, and I, okay, yeah. So to get back to what you asked me, I think they're better. They're going to get better, though. And you know that. I mean, you know, there's, again, you, you don't want to peak now. You know, you don't want to see the finished product now. If the, but I can tell you this. You might be able to count on one hand the last time they were under, they gave up less than like 20 points. Even in these non con games, it just didn't want to happen a whole lot, man. Right. So, when that's you start getting there, like from a schematic standpoint, and just no, people no. being in the right place, I ain't even really worried about the points. I'm worried about the linebackers a little bit because of the of Kanak. I was saying that tonight. He He worries me a little bit because he doesn't seem to know what he's doing. And this is his second year. And some of these guys, and this is a line, he's your middle linebacker and don't know what he's doing. I'm concerned. He's supposed to be calling the defense. Right. Yeah. And I don't think he knows what's happening. Mm. But they've got other guys that they could put in his place. And they were moving him in and out. He also had some stupid penalties that pissed me off a little bit, too. If I'm worried about anything, it's, and I, this kid's a great athlete, but you got to be, you could have to figure it out. And that's what I was saying earlier. I kind of felt like it was one of those deals where, he seems like one of those guys that he's that guy that, you know, at the gym it, it, or out on the playground, he's baller, right? He, he'll, he'll ball anybody. You get him in the game, a regular game in the gym in front of everybody, he's going to clam up and doesn't know what he's doing. He just, you know, kind of loses it. I don't know. I, you can fix it, but it, sometimes it takes a while. You know, it kind of worries me. Hey, just sub from Australia, Ian? My man, that's awesome. Love college football. Have you guys seen Australian rules football? A bit. Not a ton, though. Not a ton, though. But, hey, I'll go check it out, man. And thank you so much for coming into the show. That's badass. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Uh, no, it's uh, – what's up, Cove? Shawty smiled. Shots for everybody. Yeah. Hey, listen, I, if I had alcohol here, I got to work in a little bit. I can't drink. No drinking for me. <laughs> I got to do some work, so – uh, yeah, uh, 
Let's see what else. Let me see. Let me ask, ask some of these other questions. Is media making a mountain out of molehill for Art Browse being at the game today? Uh, probably. I mean, what are they? They ain't hiring him. Who's so, gonna hire Art Browse? And that's Levy's papa-in-law. That's why they're making the thing. I mean, it's his daddy-in-law, man. He's married to his daughter. He's going to be around sometimes. But I don't know that – I don't think that you can – how many people do you think would uh, be okay with that in freaking Oklahoma? A lot of people haven't been, been, haven't been happy about Levy being there because of his quote-unquote involvement in the shit. And I don't think that he had a bunch of involvement in the ship, but I think that he gets thrown under that bus with them. To be honest with you, I don't know that we got the whole story about what happened at Baylor anyway. Oh, no, you just got the tip of the iceberg. Mm -hmm. Riles is a hell of a coach. He sure is. Mm -hmm. sure is. Yeah, we know that. We know that. I tell you, that year, had they have, had they have just – played a game so that one of them would have gotten into the championship into the CFP one of them would have won the shit they were there because TCU was so good on defense and RG3 and that Baylor and Baylor was good on defense too but they were damn good on offense mm -hmm. they, what, they could have won it I don't know that they definitely would have but they could have they had the either one of them and Gary Patterson that's I hope he never ends up in Texas. Man, bro, is a PR nightmare. Ain't nobody taking that on right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. Yeah, well, look, look at, I mean, you know, even at the HBCU, they fired his ass. He went to, he didn't last at, at Grambling for two weeks. You right. know? They tried to hire him in with him. Oh, yeah, he was good, man. Um, Art, what did you think about it, though? I mean, or what are you guys thinking about? You think it's a, you think it's a thing? You think it's not a thing? I mean, I don't know. They probably it's probably hey, man, the media always makes something out of nothing. I mean, that's kind of their job, right? I mean, it's stupid sometimes. That and like getting everybody pissed at each other, they do that a lot. I've seen people say they want maybe fired because Bryles was on the field after the game. I think, yeah, that's stupid. He's he's his father-in-law. If right. they fired Jeff Levy, they wouldn't get Bryles. <laughs> they wouldn't get him. He'd tell him to kiss his ass too. He's taking care of his daughter. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. And I don't. I mean, well, actually, Bryles might actually take the shit anyways. He might because he can't get a job. I don't mean. I'm just saying, if they whoever whoever hires him, that AD. Might as well get ready to start packing head bags too. Yeah. Josie might have built up enough credit to be able to pull it off. They do love him there. And I, I think Joe Josie would probably get away with it. But uh it's time. Leave no doubt that Sooners are all in. Thank you, Bishop Frank. I, I agree. And you're right, Tar Hill Sooner. It's just, it's just family. It's their family, man. Their family in this football season. They come and see their daughter. I mean, it, his wife was probably standing next to him, too, and nobody said shit about that, you know? <laughs> so, you know, it is what it is. We were just talking about them, Coach. <clears throat> the Irish are a problem if you're USC or uh, Ohio State or Clemson. <laughs> For sure. You get, For sure. I, the more I watch them play, the more I think that, because I don't think they played a perfect game today, and they still ended up beating the brakes off of NC State at their house. And they just out freaking manhandled their asses, man. <coughs> I think they're good, might man. lose two or three games this year. What's up? I say Clemson might lose two or three games this year. Who's the bitch ass Oki like trolling? Who? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who are we talking about? But ask me that one more time. I was I just see what Chicken said. What did but say that again? Oh no, I was just saying I can see Clemson losing two or three games this year. Oh yeah, hell man! If they were playing anybody but who they were playing today, they probably would have been down like they were against Duke. Mm -hmm. It's not. 
the folks that I had some dude coming at me on Twitter the last couple of days about that shit. He's a Clemson guy, but he's going at Big Dave. And I was like, hey, man, what the fuck is wrong with you? You know? <laughs> Big Dave's my boy, man. And um, and look. Clemson don't drop the ball, man. They 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 don't they they don't F up. They let that kid go. They 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 don't show their hand and really he drop the ball. 50 man. more today, bro. He put up 50 more today. Mm. Who they play? Sisters of the Poor, but it's still, okay. I mean, you know, uh, let me make sure who they played. Um, it don't matter. He yeah. wasn't doing it at Clemson. Look, it, exactly. And it was all, it, it, UC Davis is actually not terrible. They're an FCS program, but they're not terrible. They were 1-0. It was 55-7, though. But he was, doesn't look like he played a ton. It looks like they played that other guy more. He had 107 yards and two touchdowns. Um, I could look at the box score. He didn't really do a ton. So, um, eight for 13, he wasn't in very long guaranteed, but they don't run the free. They don't throw the ball a ton there anyways. Let's see. He had, uh, four rushes for 11. He must not have been in very long. Hey, my dark horse for the pac 12. I look, I like them. I like them. I think, I think that they are. They're definite contenders for the Pac-12. I think Washington, them, I mean, Oregon, Oregon showed that. I mean, they can't stop anybody still. And I know that Dan's a good coach, but, you know, I, I think they're still an offensive machine. You know what I saw in that game with Oregon? They have a problem. Well, today they did. They have a problem playing 11-on-11 11 11 football. At Oregon? I don't know. I, right. I don't know what kind of scheme he drawed up. But he didn't account for the quarterback. And this guy wasn't overly athletic. It just anytime he ran the ball, oh, they Shucks, couldn't stop. He's a big guy, but he's I mean, he's a big guy, but he's right. I don't think Tyler Shuck's that good, man. I think the better guy's on the bench. They gotta get saying, they, they had problem playing eleven on eleven, bro. They couldn't stop him. Whatever they drew up for the quarterback to run, Oregon had no answer for it. No. I I and you know what? And we've all seen as Oklahoma fans, we've seen that shit. You know, sometimes, and if you don't have the personnel to like spy them out and do it, I mean, Adrian Martinez freaking gashed the shit out of you last year. And they were still had a bunch of Lincoln's dudes. Anybody they still had, it was Lincoln's guys. It's because they didn't real go, they didn't get serious about the portal until this season after he went six and seven. He knows he can't hang around here forever doing that. You know, and so. Uh, thankfully, <laughs> he backed off of that one because he knew that, hey, you could get your ass in that portal and do it. Not everybody, look, I get understand why you, you know, what Dabo's saying about you recruit your problems because you do. You know that. But you're going to tell me that sometimes it's just not a fit. Sometimes the coach leaves, you know. Sometimes you're just, you know, something happens and you just didn't. Yeah, I think you're right, Randy. You're right. You predicted Texas would of course those not too crazy right now predicting Texas would win. He's still crazy. That dude, he's probably gonna die on set. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can't even Rice just beat Houston 43 to 41 in overtime. Hey man, See you know, me? he hard to watch, man. They need to go on and just go on and cut the cord on that. Well, even like you get you can tell Herb's Herbie's like a mess when he's on. A mess. He be babysitting the whole time. A mess. He don't know what the hell to do. Scared to death of what's going to happen. Yeah, he had over 100 rushing yards in the TD. Yeah, yeah. Look, and I think that Tyler's an athlete. He's not super fast though, or anything like that. And like, but the dude is. is it, does it look like to you, Rhino, that he's just kind of like he's like freaking out a little bit? It, you know, he's trying to be perfect on every throw because those last two were bad. Corso. Yeah, you're talking about Corso, coach. Yeah. I I don't want to watch him die on the damn set. I don't want to watch him die during game day. That would suck, man. That would suck. That would kill that whole show. Be the end of it. And right now, I know Coach I is not, not too happy about it. I think, that, I think that McAfee brings something to the table. But I think you got to get yeah, rid yeah. of – I think you got to get rid of, of course, so and yeah, yeah, yeah. Never lose to food. Yep, you're right. Never hey, Max, we bring a whole new element to the situation. Yeah, 
Did you see he's gonna, he's having Saban on it? Oh, that I wonder how if that segment just died tonight. Mm. Because every Thursday he's supposed to go on McAfee. Every Thursday. And Matt, and you wow. can tell he wasn't that excited about the shit the first one on the on this one. Because McAfee was like, Yeah, you're probably gonna hate it, but you know, we're gonna have fun with it. And it's like he's not gonna hate it for long because he'll quit. He'll stop that shit right now. Yeah. They are scared. And look, well, I mean, if he wants to be there, he wants to be there. But I mean, look, for the sake of your ratings, do not let that old man die on air. Well, just <laughs> for the sake I mean? of your ratings, it's time for him to go. Yeah. He's killing the ratings anyway. I think that's why people are probably the people who are watching it now are like, for the, because some people want to watch car wrecks, you know? Yeah. He's hard to watch, man. I mean, it's, Ooh. Yeah, it's 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 a mess. It's a mess, sorry. It's a, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. And like he said, for Herb Street, he just be babysitting him. He was just walking him along, holding mess, his hand. Right? <laughs> I don't know what the hell to do. He don't know what the hell to do. It's so crazy, bro. It's so crazy. Okay, so Oki Lights, where they at? Where they at? They at. <clears throat> Oh shit, I'm in the top 25 as well. Let's go Pac 12. Oh, Oki Lights up by two points in the third quarter, 17 15. They just scored. Jaden Rashada has 114 and a touchdown. Yeah, he's a freshman, man. Can't expect him to win, but I don't know. I, I, and I think that they got a good coach, but I don't know that they, I don't think they're ready yet. Hit me with the new one. Oh. Oh, it's, uh, it was... oh, Andrew, I think, is wanting to come in. He's a little toasty, wasn't he? Is he a little toasty in there? It seemed like to you, bro. <laughs> oh, he's my dude's a trip, bro. I would love to be a fly on the wall in Paul Feinbaum's house tonight. Do tell. Why is that? Why? What do you think about that? What's it? What's going on in there? Over under on course, so I took six months. Did Shawty tell us as a fan how Georgia did? Yeah. Yeah. I got, he got hit on the arm. Yeah, but then he went and threw another one too. Right after that. I mean, killed the drive. Can't do it, man. Just can't do it. Can't do it. JC, what was your top 25 prediction? What do you what did you predict? Where are you at? Uh Bishop Frank, 10 7 Cal. Your dog's better than Tommy Reese. He probably is. Norman is. Norman can throw it further than Tommy Reese, I bet. Norman, that dog, he he lay right on top. This dude is 100 pounds now already, and he will lay right on your ass. <laughs> Just come right on. Crazy. It's in the Discord. Okay, I'll check it out. What is Okay, so what was the prediction, though? What are we talking about? Let me see what it is. Jumping in the Discord. Uh, oh, it's who you're thinking is going to be in it now? Moved Oklahoma up two spots. I, I, Shorty, what do you think about Florida State, man, for real? What do y'all think about Florida State? Because, look, I'm still of the day. They beat LSU last year and lost to freaking NC State and Wake Forest. Now, Wake Forest did have Sam Hartman. But they still. I've, I've said it before, man. Listen, Travis has been playing way too long, has too much experience. He can change to put the ball in harm's way. He scares me in big games. Mm -hmm. But he got Jordan a lot Travis? going on. Yeah, Jordan, yeah, Jordan Travis. Travis, mm -hmm. he got a lot going on around him. But in big games, he scares me. Yeah. 
but he looked pretty good against LSU. I mean, shit, it was Jordan. It was it was, it was uh, actually the Jaden Daniels that didn't look very good. But in the but, second but half, Travis gave he gave LSU opportunity. That's what I'm saying. He still yeah, put the ball in harm's way. Yeah, but he didn't have a Coleman around before this either, did he? Yeah. I mean, you know. Yeah. But LSU- that's the whole thing with me on Clemson is like shit, man. They've done something. You couldn't have gotten Coleman instead of FSU when you need somebody. I mean, but maybe not because that offense is is freaking Jimbo-esque, antiquated, nobody's doing shit. And LSU come out and do the same thing. You know, you have a special team turn on a muff punt. Like you just, I mean, that, that just changes the field position. I mean, that's just a, a morale killer. It's just something about LSU, man. I don't know is. You know, they have the talent, but you've got to get the right person in there, man, because there are discipline issues. Florida State the same way. I mean, they just have they have discipline issues. They have issues with players just as talented as talented as they are. They just play bad football at the wrong time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and it, it, it well, everybody thought they were gonna have to beat Clemson twice. They probably won't now. I mean, I don't. I think Pitt may be may be moving into that next spot. Pitt, Pitt lost today, didn't they? Did they? No way. Yeah, they lost. Win. Yeah, Pitt lost no. today. I think the Cincy. No. Yeah, they lost the Cincy. Yeah, they lost. Oh shit, man! Chicken. No, don't, don't, don't say that about Pitt. Game. JJ gonna I be think up. Pitt lost. Mm-hmm. JJ gonna be all kind of upset. No wonder he didn't go on any shows today. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think they lost, man. No way. Yeah. That's crazy. Just when you thought they was about to take that next step. I thought they were too. Yeah. Duke, they the next one. They Almost did. They sure lost to Cincinnati, lost. bro. They mm-hmm. lost to freaking Scott Satterfield. So is Cincinnati better than we thought? Maybe Pitt is not as good as we thought. Phil Dracovic had three touchdowns, but he only had 179 yards. But they like to run the ball. That's definitely a, you know, that's kind of how they do it. I don't know. Since he did Whatever win. Whatever they did, it won enough. You think oh, you would have a shot against Bama this year? If, if we can, apparently all you got to do is score a few touchdowns. <laughs> I don't I don't understand how people are not seeing that. I'm not taking anything away from Texas. I think the Alabama dude, quarterback the plays oh. a stud, but I he he did show I mean I didn't see anything that made me think wow today, other than wow, what the hell was that? You know? He can't beat you. Yeah. I they don't have nothing better than that there. That young kid isn't better than that throwing the ball. I mean, because you can't he he, he he definitely cost them the game, man. He yeah, definitely yeah. cost them the game. And don't get me wrong, Quinn was good. I mean, he was dropping bombs in there and and making good throws. I'm not I, look. Uh, and apparently, Sark made a freaking adjustment. I'll be damned. I think that FSU is a matchup nightmare. I, I'm going to give you that. Here's what I'm going to tell you though. Is that they haven't look. They were losing that game at the half. Uh, that could have just been Kelly falling asleep at the wheel for all we know. But but Coleman is the difference maker. It, I think that's the matchup from hell right there, buddy. Bama QB equals big trouble. Ty Simpson is the better quarterback. Okay. I haven't seen much of him, though. And, I mean, you, obviously you don't get to get in there and see what they're doing. But And yeah, if he was doing well, why isn't he in the game? I don't see Miro's finishing the season as the starter. I don't. He just he just only lost for the third time to one of his assistants. That shit. They ain't gonna last very long. You know what I mean? They don't. He doesn't like that shit. If Bama had Beck, do they beat Texas? That's a good question. Shawty, what do you think? If if they had Beck, would they be? Yes. Yeah. Do you think they're good I enough? Think for Be- you think they're good enough for receiver? <laughs> yes. To win today, yes. Bama is good enough. Their team, they have a very good team. 
The yeah, problem the is the delivery is system. It's either one or two. And they had the huh? number one class this year. They put nine five stars in this year. Nine. Listen, it's, it's the same. same. Like, you can't have it both ways. It's just like when you have a great quarterback like uh, Bryce Young, he hid a lot of mistakes that they had. And now you're seeing with the mistakes that they still have, and this kid just can't cover them up. He's exacerbating the act. That's what yeah, you're saying. It seems like his arm is just like too big that he's not very flexible. It's just like real stiff on his throw. I, I didn't wasn't impressed with his motion. I told you, you last night. Like, like, you see this glass in my hand? If I'm yeah, standing in the stands, did. he'll mess around and knock that glass out of my hand. Uh, and I'm in the stands. <laughs> Lori, Lori, Josie can't expect Bryles not to be there. Did, did he say he didn't want him there? I don't think this is a thing, man. I don't think this is a thing. I think he's going to be around sometimes. Yeah, y'all trying to make something out of it. I, I think people worry about a lot of shit, for sure. Uh, yeah, man, just count the wrong. W's and the L's, man. That's all I got to do. Trust me, winning curious hey, look, everything. what I would tell you, though. If you want, I mean, it, hell, if Art's around and doing it for free and just, like, helping Levy out a little bit here and there and critiquing, I, I'm going to Probably tell you that BV's probably all right with that and Joe C too. <laughs> Basically consulting. Yeah, look, that's what these uh, you know, hell they got them everywhere, right? Mm-hmm. Miro and you said, hell, I think he's a freaking linebacker, Randy. That's what he looks like to me. Tight end. And speaking of linebacker, for that LSU game, why do you have your best player spying and dropping in the flat? I never the understood that. The one dude that can get to the quarterback probably right. than anybody in the country, and he didn't freaking rush the guy all night long. Beats me. And that's why you don't know how good Jordan Travis is because he didn't have to go up against that cat. Right? And that dude was like, he was getting it. He was getting it as a freshman, a real true right. freshman. He was mm -hmm. already the best player on the field every week. He now did. They got him over, now they got him overthinking because they don't screw him up and they changed his position. There's a freshman that just had him rushing the quarterback. Hmm. That's what you still oh, need to do. He released a statement about Bryles being on the field, and he was not happy. Well, folks going to see him. You got him out there. They're going to see him. You don't expect nobody not to say that. So why would Joe – I mean, that's not really – it's not even really Levy's decision to allow that to happen. That would be a BV – that would be a BV decision. Or, you know, he'd have to be okay with it. Because uh, I don't see that Levy would just like, hey, come on out. I'm not going to tell Coach about it. <laughs> that would get you in trouble. That would cause a problem. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe that's why BV was all pissy at halftime. I don't know what it is, guys. I hadn't heard none of this shit. And I don't really care. I, I think it's a nothing thing. But if Joe C's mad about it, 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 I could see why he would be. Now, I'll tell you this. They were pissed at, at Lebby, and he played at Oklahoma when he was coaching because he ended up on the sideline at the Tulsa game, and that was against the rules. And they, like, they called it in to the NCAA and to the conference and all that shit. And, like, Riles had to, like, straighten that out. I remember when that happened. They were mad, mad at him. And that was Coach, Coach Stoops was real pissed. I mean, he coached him, and he was pissed, pissed. What's the what, huh? It's not uh, the Grinch philosophy is what? Or what is it that, um, the asking for forgiveness is better than asking for permission or what? Sometimes. <laughs> it definitely <laughs> is. Right. Depends on what we're talking about. But in right. this case, I don't know that that would be what it is. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you were asking about why that, and, and Coach says Brian Kelly's a genius. And uh, can we introduce you to Brian Kelly, Hank says. <laughs> so they're basically saying he's a dumbass. I think that's what we were saying. Yeah, I think that's what we were saying. Talking about GP. And I ain't sure if he's the right fit or not, to be honest. I'm still I'm still debating on that. I, don't, I, don't, I always say he wasn't the right fit, and that's kind of what I'm still leaning toward. I think that I can see why people – because – 
not recruiting because he's, I mean, and Coach will tell you, he just don't like it. But you don't have to recruit it at LSU, and they're already going to have better players. And he's had some success not really recruiting that great, right? Imagine you got to get the kids to buy in. That's what I mean by the fit. But I, think I just that don't that's know if the kids buy in. Think, yeah, and I don't know. I think that the one thing that you're starting to see is he's real fake around them, and kids know that shit. Mm-hmm. Kids will pick out bullshit in a heartbeat, man. Every time, yep, they're gonna That's they're gonna, gonna call you on it. Yep, mm-hmm. it is gonna be interesting this year, Adam. Very much. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna have fun. Open about would be there. Am I talking about GP or Bryles? Uh, GP as in somebody's pissed. Uh, apparently the. Apparently, old Joe C's pissed off about it. Didn't want in there. But, I mean, somebody would have had to say it was okay for him to be there. Mm-hmm. Do they unravel at Texas a and today after the loss? Didn't they, haven't they already unraveled their coach? Or are we just talking about in the case of, oh, the offense stuff? I mean, is he going to take the playbook away from Bobby? I mean, they still put up a lot of points. They were on the road. No, I'm telling you, they big up front too, man. They didn't dumb like I dominate like I expected them to do. But Texas a and man, they got some big boys up front. They're big. They, they they had the literally in 21. It was the number one recruiting class of yep. all time yep. based on having yep. five five star defensive tackles. And then they added uh, a guy that I can't say, or else it's going to go PTSD in here for everybody. Um, because he should have went to OU. No, it's David Hicks that freaked everybody right out. But they added him too. But apparently, he didn't make their top three in the depth chart this year, and he was the number one guy last year. So, and apparently, he's pissed off. But the, I mean, they hey, they already bought and paid for him though. They they gave his dad that damn job at that at Plano, uh, uh, that Paytow. Not Plano. It's uh, Katie Paytow down in Houston. Yeah. It's uh, he's bought and paid for. That part that's on his ass, but Kelly's not doing the isn't doing the coaching part. Yeah, I agree. I think that's the case. You don't want Jimbo calling plays, trust. You do not want Jimbo. You sure don't. Plays. But uh, but you know damn good and well that it, it, it they lose another game. You think he's gonna let him keep calling plays? You think the Petrino's gonna even he'll tell him to get the fuck out? I'm sure. But what? But was offense the problem? Uh, well, apparently they gave up 48, so it wasn't the whole problem. You know what I'm saying? You got to stop somebody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I could see. And I'm going to be honest parts. with you, my, Miami quarterback, he ain't no world beater. They made him look like one today. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Tyson or what is it? It's a Tice or Jordan Tice or something like that. What's his name? That's one of the notes that I took down today for the Texas oh, oh, and Dyke. Miami Dyke. game. He had 374 and five TDs on him. He finished up strong. He finished up strong, but he started out very slow. Because I put it in my notes when I first started watching that game, that game. Miami needs better quarterback play. That literally one of the notes I took. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and they did a 98-yard kickoff return was another thing, I guess. Mm-hmm. They beat the shit out of them for sure. All three, I mean, baby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, man, it's been coming apart there. I still think – I'm telling you, I think it, I think that it's over at Clemson like that if he doesn't change his attitude about, about the portal and the NIL and letting his coaches do their thing. I think, you're, I think that's over there too. I think that they're yeah. finished. He ain't gonna. He ain't gonna change his mind. I think I said this. I see Jimbo. Uh, it's a fundamental, fundamental issue with Jimbo. He could give. He's up. not gonna change, right? He don't care. To, he don't like the way college football going. Here's the thing with Jimbo too. Uh, oh, Dabo. You mean Dabo? I mean, I'm sorry, Dabo. Yeah, sorry, Dabo. because he's he's uh, completely against it all, and he's mm-hmm. loud about it every day, right? He he bitches and bitches and bitches and bitches and bitches every time that he hits that podium. He's bitching. 
hates it. Right? I can see him being fired from Clemson in two years and not even coaching anymore just because he don't like the way you know, college football is. I agree. I wouldn't be surprised in it. And I mean, well, but but he's being that stubborn dude too. And that's the, that's what is so similar with him is because and the one thing about I don't know what Dabble's contract is right now. I think it's still pretty good. I, I they owe freaking Jimbo after this season, they owe him 80. Yeah, you can't afford to fire him. That's the only reason he's still here. So that's you just can't the whole thing with him is what what incentive does it have? Does that give you if you're if you're Jimbo to fucking give up your your play sheet when they owe you eighty million? Fire me! I don't give a fuck. <laughs> go down swinging the way no, you want to swing, huh? Fire me, man! Yeah. Right, I'm saying, and if I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna go down calling and play like I want to. Mm-hmm. But I just think it looked so bad on him. He just had to make some changes. You know, it just looked so bad. Uh, look, I mean, what they they were they were losing the the yardage battle or losing the game, and they had I think the other team had like zero yards at that time, you know, net yards. It was crazy shit. I mean, they ended up winning, blowing them out, but they better have. But in the end, look, you can't afford to get like look. It's like we were talking about with SC. Look. You go up against the four initial teams of, you know, San Jose State and whatever, and you giving up 28 to them and 200 plus yards on the ground. That's like giving up 400 to Georgia. Right. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah. That's true, too. He did, his dad did get paid. And so, and I mean, DJ did too. That's the other thing. How much are they actually paying them, though? I mean, I know that I I can tell you that old boy from Pitt, uh, the the receiver that ended up at SC, he didn't play in the Cotton Bowl because he got offered two million. He got two fifty. They never paid him. Mm. Jordan Addison. That's the word out there, and that was coming from JJ was actually talking about that one day, and which it came from Pitt and all that. But and hey, Narduzzi went off over that. He was pissed, pissed. I mean, because they, I mean they flat out calling people, man, and a lot of them are. Hey, how the kid at um Arizona State playing the one that um is it Rashad? Is it was it Rashada? The kid that supposed to went to um UF over the yeah. thirteen million. I heard he barely got anything to go to Arizona State. Nobody else was going to pay him that. I, that. Well, Miami had talked about it, and then they, he. It, but that was a messed up move on Florida, though. Now Miami, the, the Miami deal was in stone. He was going to get eight million from Alabama, not Alabama, Miami. Miami. Yeah. And he tried to leverage with Florida, talking about he was going to get thirteen million, which was false. <laughs> but well, it was false. They didn't have it. Number one, right. apparently, they didn't right. have the money, even though they told him that. Um, ooh, how much is Caleb Williams making? Ten million a year, apparently. Uh no, they had him at three million this year. I just After saw that the other day. Listen, mm. I'd heard ten yeah, they, million early. They had him at three million dollars this year. Uh, it it could just be because of what they're, and that's coming from the school, or that's just in everything that he does. Now don't let me lie he's to you. He's got that deal with Beats. He's got all that. I mean, dude, he's, I thought they had his evaluation at $3 million this year. Where the hell does that come from, though? The on three or whatever? What the hell do we even know about that? That's the whole weird thing with me. That There's so much shady shit going on in college oh, football. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so shady. Listen, you know it's, listen, you know it's got to be good when your father can come out and say something like, we possibly may not have go in the draft if we don't like the team we going to. So money clearly not an issue. Mm-hmm. It's not an issue, but I think that at some point rich people get sick of, of not getting a return on their money. That's how they got rich. They get returns on their money, on, on their investments. Mm-hmm. Is it a good investment for you to go pay a high school kid that you don't know what he's going to do? Right. 
what's your return on it? I mean, you know, if it's, so that's if why it's, it's all working. investment, all investment are not good. That's true. But you're not a billionaire or one of those guys that can afford to, to like cough up that kind of cash if you make bad investments. Well, you know, like I, you know, I can't speak for other schools, but that's like I was saying, you know, NIL deals, a lot of people don't understand. I can only speak for us. I don't know how you may get an evaluation, but through our collectives, NIL deals are month to month. I mean, it can stop. You know, it's month, it's 30 days, you know what I'm saying? Recyclable, renewable. I'm sorry, renewable. Some of them so, are, yeah. Well, most of through our collective, now, if you got an NIL through somewhere else and not through our collective, you may have some different things going on. But through the collective, those deals are month to month. Yeah, I, and most of these, well, I shouldn't say most of them. Some of the collectives are for the the team, right? It's for the whole team. Right. You want to make sure everybody's getting something. Because if you're not a starter, you ain't making shit. You right. know what I mean? You ain't going to make much. There's guys that just don't make that much money. But if you've learned it, like Woody, Woody Washington learned how to use it before they really had much of a collective. They did have a collective, but they weren't killing it at Oklahoma. And and Woody, you know, he's one of the older kids on the team, and he was helping all them young kids. And he wouldn't even take an NIL deal if he couldn't get it to for everybody, right? That's what Brock Bowles did. He, he don't even get money through the collective. He gave it to, you know, like walk-ons and other players, and, you know, he just – you know, yeah. you don't need it like that. Got some of those guys account. don't need it, right? Yeah, right. some of them don't. Yeah, I mean, you know, Carson Beck need the money? Probably not. <laughs> you know, it, I don't know. Apparently, though, Johnny Manziel wasn't as rich as everybody thought his ass was. <laughs> According to that freaking, I still got to watch the whole thing. But the, he, he, was, getting, he was getting to the money, though. He was. But he was like, he was moving shit around. His grandpa has some money, but it wasn't like generational wealth money like they were acting like. He was right. able to like launder through some money that he was, because he was signing the shit out of footballs apparently and like doing all the stuff you weren't supposed to do. But right. they said whenever he was supposedly out partying and doing all that stuff on those weekends, that a lot of times he was just going to sit in a hotel room and signing a shit ton of footballs. Mm-hmm. And then he would run it through a lot his, of time, grandpa's, his grandpa's stuff so that it would launder it. You know what I mean? Well, his friend, his best friend had set up um, some kind of like, I don't know if it was, but his best friend was helping him launder it too. I don't know if he's like the fall guy or whatever, but it was all to fall back on him as some, something went down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There were a lot of people standing there. Hell, there was a lot of people for me and him standing in the way of that shit. Believe that. When, I mean, and he got away with whatever the shit he wanted after he won that Heisman. He didn't do nothing. He didn't care what was going on after that. He had, he checked out after that. He showed it. Hey, they booted his ass out of the Manning camp after that shit. <laughs> man, he had checked out, man. Bro, and everywhere he was going, you know, he was getting everything free pretty much. They was, they were supplying with all the liquor and drugs he could use. Yeah. He was definitely, he was doing well. But it wasn't just, it wasn't as everything that they were saying. Hartman for Heisman, huh? Here we go. They're able to legally pay players. Out. Oh, well, and we know that the Texas ain't got a problem with it. Charlie, are you in here to gloat too? <laughs> this is my boy from high school. I know what he's in there for. Talking some smack tonight. Good for your guys. Uh, don't go lose to Kansas now and screw it all up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now boys. Kansas, you got their quarterback today now, you know, so they're they trying to get back in the form. I like Jalen, man. I think he's electric, bro. That guy is – he puts himself in harm's way sometimes, though, and you're not going to – you're not going to win. He can call yeah. problems for you, though, as a defensive coordinator. He can definitely cause problems for you. Oh, bro. It, look what he did. I mean, shit, they won – one game the year before that, and he he won six in, or first five or whatever, and then he got hurt. TCU hurt him since he won 27-21. Yep. Hey, some wild upsets again today. We'll get back into all of this stuff here in the next couple of days. I'm definitely going to – I got to go and get on this job. And uh, But uh, I appreciate everybody coming. Not going to brag, just here to listen to your story. Thank you, Charlie. I, <laughs> you. I know you're full of shit, but it is cool. <laughs> it, uh, no, I'm. You're welcome to brag. I get it, man. You, it's not every day you go into Alabama and beat yeah. them. So good for me. I'm not sure that I trust them to do it up forever. 
But, uh, yeah, we're going to be – actually, that Cincinnati game looks like it actually may be a game now for, for OU. Um, so, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm looking for a ticket on that one, maybe out there in uh, Ohio for that first one, man. We got some people we may need to meet. Man, y'all going to beat the shit out of Cincinnati. Stop. Yeah, but it ain't just because of that. I got some oh, okay. stuff I got to – there's a uh, possible business still that I'm working at. So we're working at it, man. We got to make some money. No, oh, they're right. We got to make some money, man. Because uh, I'm tired of doing this damn overnight job. It's tiring. It's killing me. And then I try to, you know, it just wears me out. And I sleep all day. I hate that shit. Or right. mess your body clock up. You got to do what you got to do. You, you make sacrifices because of what you let. And I love this stuff. Cozy. Hey, Charlie, I love hanging out with you guys. I love Coach I and all them dudes. But, I mean, I was on High Top Show this morning. They did a game day like deal on there. You got to go check that out on High Top Sports. We had a blast. It was freaking awesome. He did, they did a great job. Oh, High Top but Sports. I, yeah, High Top Sports. But he got a, he's, got a, he's got a freaking – oh, High Top's got a freaking – uh, what did I say earlier? He's got a crush on Ty. Because he let him win the game, he, he did like an around the around the horn deal, mm-hmm. and uh, <laughs> it's it. hey, I'll just actually, you know what? I can send you the link on your phone. I got your phone. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Because I ain't got. Yeah, no I'll send you the link to it. You gotta yeah. check us out if you can next Friday, man. You know we're gonna be uh, live on location at Creaser Conference. Uh, the little biff. Uh, yeah, they, yeah. they want us to shoot okay. a show there live. That's cool. Yeah. That's good stuff. So that's with the uh, on Coach I show or or your yeah show? yeah yeah Re- uh, respect the heads yeah respect the heads. I like I, man. I like you guys on respect the heads. You guys are funny, man. Y'all have a good time on that. Y'all talk some shit. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, it's just like the locker room, man. We've been knowing each other since college, so you know. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I was gonna ask you, what years did you play at at UGA? Uh, ninety six to two thousand. Okay, so based yeah, on Jim Downing years, Jim Downing years. Okay, yeah, because I was uh, I I graduated in '95, so we're the same age. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, that's cool, man. Very cool. That's awesome, man. I'm excited for you guys. I'm excited. Yeah, well, we you. are too, man. It's a great opportunity, man. You know, man. definitely. Hey, it, you know what? And this is what Coach was talking about the other night too. And Coach, I, I mean, this is a great community that we're building here, and the guys that we work with from show to show. I mean, we're doing it's I think that this is going to, you know, you get impatient about it sometimes and you want it to move faster because you got it. I mean, y'all we are going to eat. But, you know, but I tell you, I think it's moved a lot faster than most people do. And so I'm excited about it. And sometimes I just got to remember that, you know, hey, man, you're moving faster than most people are. Relax. I'll come to you sometimes. You know, you know how it is, man. You just you want it in your time. Uh, We might be. You're gonna, yeah, we might be. We uh, Canton, you live in Hall of Fame town. That's wild. We are young bucks. Man. I gotta catch JJ show, man, but I don't know if I'm ready to catch him here later. You know, he probably up on the rock right now. Is he up there? Is he on? No, nah, uh, okay, I gotta catch his show, but I ain't had time. But JJ's I gotta get good, him up my he's bundle that rock. Show, bro. Yeah, I heard, I, I heard, he's upset, man. He yeah, and man. JJ, JJ's that's the. Again, all these dudes that we work with, Shadi, are all badasses, it seems like, man. Mm-hmm. You know, all of them. Except for maybe Stat Guy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I love Stat Guy, man. He's my boy, but I did work him that night. <laughs> man, Stat Guy be coming out with some, you know, he he be he be he be he be on one end of the spectrum sometime. He did be He's too far. <laughs> <laughs> he, hey, you know what though? He'll go to the end of the earth for that for what he's arguing. Yeah. You know? say he be setting himself up, man. He so does sometimes. He threw he straight just made me have to kill him on that one. Then night when he started acting like South Carolina was in the same stratosphere as Oklahoma. Bro, he took my boy's soul that night, man. That's the night his uh his phone or something went out of stomach. <laughs> so y'all got yeah, my boy flustered. Yeah, my wife lost that night. Man. <laughs> <laughs> he and then who was it that was on there with you guys? Uh, uh, the guy, oh, what was his name? Kobe, uh, Kobe or Corey or Kobe, huh? That other dude. Oh, uh, we fella. got a, we got a Corey. 
Was it Cor- No, it was on with with me, the guy that was uh, the Oregon fan or whatever. It, that uh, he was like, man, he goes. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Defend yourself. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Kobe, I think it was Kobe. Yeah, I think it was Kobe. Kobe. Uh, he's cool, man. And Blue's cool as hell, too, man. He was on there the other day. I've actually watched his show a bunch. I'd seen him before I was on there with you guys. He's cool, man. That dude's cool. The guy from uh, the Blue Bloods? Yeah, I haven't had a chance to check it out, man. Bro, he the, his calling shows are a freaking trip, man. Those, those HBCU folks be talking some shit to him. Oh, and about it. everybody else too, man. They just wear it out, and and they call and call and call and call. I, at some point, you guys are gonna have to start calling in more too, man. We got to do some calling shows. Man. I like these calling shows. We don't need to do. I like to see it get probably not like like Uncle Lou, but not too far off. That is funny. You know what I mean? It's funny. Yeah, Uncle Lou shit is funny. I think he's crazier than hell, but his his show's hilarious. Do you watch him ever? Me no. No, no, you don't watch Uncle Lou? He's a Georgia guy. So I was wondering. I figured y'all did. Well, cool, cool. So, con- so much content out there, you know? There is, man. There is. But, you know, but, and not all of it is good. Some of it is really good, though. You know, like Unfair Sports, those guys are in with the uh, Bleacher Report. We were talking about that yesterday and Ty. They're good, man. They're getting it done. So, folks, we appreciate everybody coming in here. Uh, if you have not already hit the like button, please do that. But um, again, I got to get over here and get on this job. So I appreciate everybody coming in. Shotty, tell everybody how to find you real quick and uh, and we'll catch you guys this week. You're on Wednesday, right? Yeah, Wednesday nights, YouTube, 930, just my damn opinion. They like assholes. Everybody got one and I got one too. That's right. <laughs> hey, I was watching y'all show from the other night. It was good, man. And you had your... You, you were calling him cousin. He's your, he was your cousin that was on there with y'all. They're my, they're my real cousin, y'all. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then coach, I popped into. Y'all were talking some funny shit, man. You guys are making me laugh. Good stuff, man. I you gotta. I want to come on your show one of these times, man. Let me know. I'd love to come on. Yeah, man. I have to shoot you some topics or tell me some topics, man. Because literally, I be so busy, man. I come up with topics like two hours before the show. <laughs> sometimes it, you know what with college football sometimes it's just how it rolls anyways but like See, that might show you know i talk about everything you know what I, I mean? and i don't mind that either man i this i think sometimes sometimes they're fun you know what i mean you, i mean there's a lot of shit going on in the world you can have an opinion about whatever you want i like it like I, I mean I, I, let me know. i love the topic about the uh you know i don't know if you had heard about about the coach that punched the kid on the sideline yeah, I would have talked to you about uh, that for sure. Man, that man, I, I could have had a whole show about that alone. Yeah. Yeah. If you guys just put in Shoddy Parker, you'll find him quicker. It's it, I think it is just my damn opinion, but it, it doesn't necessarily always come up like that. But look him up under Shoddy Parker, and then you'll find it. Um, all right, guys. Thanks a lot for coming in. Uh, we will yes. see you for sure on Tuesday. Hey, man. Yeah, a lot. And I'll see you for sure on Wednesday for sure. But hey, if you guys want to oh, well, respect the hedges is on Tuesday, you guys make sure y'all get over there. If you're not already a, a member of that channel, y'all should be. That's a hell of a show. I love respect the hedges. You know, all them all them guys that have played together and stuff. I mean, they, they have fun. It's a good show. A lot of good shows. And uh, yeah, but I will place a link to his channel. I will. I actually I'll find it. Yeah, uh, I'll, uh, I'll throw that in there. And um, but we'll definitely we will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Go dog. Horns down.